Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Next, we got Aiden Ross and Andrew Tate Press, Jake Paul. Shit. Let's see, let, let's see the press action that happens. Let's see the press action that happen then. Let's see. Let's see how heated it gets. We just watched. We uh, we just got uh, we just got done watching the the Adam Twenty Two and Andrew Tate one. That one went way different than I expected it to go. So shit. We'll see how this one ends up going. What up, man? Jake, training uh, hard. Two shirtless okay. motherfuckers. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Honestly, this is my best shape I've I've been in. I'm I'm excited for this fight. Eighteen days away. Damn. When are you getting in there, Aiden? Actually, you know, uh, soon, okay? Um, he's got to fight his battle against Lean first. Bro, <laughs> what is going on with this Lean shit? I can get from Lean. What the fuck is going on here? You know what, I'll say this right now. Jake, after you um, you beat Diaz, I actually, I want to get it, I want to I get in some Bro, with you. you know, Diaz better win training. this fight. Nah, 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 Diaz better win this goddamn fight, bro. He better win. Uh, the hot sun. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? On the beach. I don't want you to, it's not to... just, no, Aiden, it's not just about the training. I think every man should have a professional fight at some point in his life. One, because of the pressure you're under and how scary it is, because yeah. there's a lot of pressure, because you're putting your ego on the line. And secondly, because you have to dedicate yourself to a training camp completely and fully. You can't just do one pad session and put it on the fucking internet and talk about being a fighter. You need to dedicate yourself and try hard and set a date where you have a fair competition against another man and put it on the line. That's what you need to do as a man so you learn about yourself. Why does it look like Jake Paul got a black eye? Y'all see that? Is that just me? Why does it look like Jake Paul got a black eye? Okay. Yeah, don't you don't you have beef with like a some other streamers and stuff too? Like one guy named Hassan, but he's like seven Stop. foot tall and he wears dresses. So I'm not I'm not. And he wears dresses. Oh, there you go. <laughs> is that the guy? Hassan fuck it is? up. Yes, it is. Don't oh even God. play. Your mate. Yeah. Um. But nah, man. I, I would love to get in the ring. I swear. I, I actually really, really really would. Um. One day. I think if you had a reason to to stop sipping lean it would help you like you know i've been clean get i've been clean for a while now about a month but you were you were texting my friend like three days ago oh. asking for a lean plug okay andrew's lying he's no lying. i'm not i'm you're not talking, lying. you're talking about jasper okay yes. Exposed. three days ago i texted him like a couple months ago about lean i haven't done lean in over a month you can drug i'll take a drug test on stream tomorrow you want me to do it do it chat chat we want to see this okay, <laughs> okay fine i'll do it let's see no, no. it all right we won't talk about it on talk screen about drug it. test I'll do it, I'll do it. all right got you um yeah i got you so look no you won't i will you, you talk shit you're not gonna never do gonna do it. Do it. you know fuck this you guys are dating on me jake are you gonna fight andrew andrew you're gonna fight jake would you, would you guys ever fight well i'll tell you something let's talk about this because there was a time where I called out Jake Paul. There was that time, so let's talk about that. It's when Jake first called out Connor. I think this was like four or five years ago. Is that correct? A long, what? a while ago. And I yeah. said, Jake, I'll fight you. I remember saying it to him. At the time, I wasn't nearly as known as I am now. And then since then, I've made it very clear also to the world. I said that Jake, I believe, is the best YouTube boxer. I believe he can beat them all. And I think he's trading very hard. KSI and a fight the best. Jake would be a real fight. KSI the best really YouTube boxer. Hard and Surely, KSI the best YouTube boxer. Wait, Jim, really? he's yeah. more of a boxer we'll than We'll see when they fight. But I don't think we're going to fight, especially because of my current legal situation. I can't even leave my house. However, I do think that in terms of YouTube boxing, I'm glad it's, came, I'm glad it's a, a space now. I like the idea of people would be fighting each other. And I do also, and I want to make this clear to everyone, I've said it multiple <laughs> times, I do think Jake is the best of all the YouTube boxers. I don't think that can be denied. Well, thank you. Yo, relax. Well, I appreciate that. I, I think, God yeah, damn. my answer to it would have... The special like, kid in the motherfucking classroom, goddamn. If you figured out your legal situation, I, I think you should get in there because it would be massive. Maybe maybe not with me, maybe with whoever it is. But Dude, are they I would, friends? I everyone, beefing, I think, would bro. want to see... <laughs> I yeah, thought I mean, it was going to be beef, too. What the hell's going on? Neither of these conversations are going as planned. I want to see it. It would make a bunch of money. And I don't want to say, but before I was arrested in December, there was a conversation ongoing about me fighting someone. And I'm not going to say who it is because it didn't happen. And I asked for a lot of money and they offered me all the money I wanted. And it was very close to being signed. And then I obviously ended up in a prison cell. So certain things changed. But um, who the hell was yeah, I know the whole world wants to see it. The whole Yo, world wants me to get in there and fight somebody. I'm very aware of that. But uh, we have to make I'm sure down, the stars align. If we, could, if we could ever figure it out, I would be down to do MMA 
or boxing. Bro, prison match. When this nigga goes to prison, do a prison cage match. Big brain. Not either. Like, the PFL would make it happen. So if if you ever figure out the situation, I think it would be huge. Wait, Jake. You know what we should, you know what we should do, Jake? While you're next training, I know you're only 18 days away from a fight, but next time you're training and you want some sparring, fly to Romania and we'll spar and we'll film it and we'll decide if we want to release it or not afterwards. But I have no problem. <laughs> we can have a sparring match anytime. That's well, easy, let's right? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm down for that, but we, can't, yeah. but we can't release it for free. That's like, it's like giving the people what they want for, for nothing. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. What? Guys, I would love Post to. Post on you YouTube. Know, Get paid. Too, for you, with, with you guys. Fuck. I'll, I'll, Jake, let's just go to Romania. We'll, we'll go 50-50 on the jet. We'll go to Romania, Jake, and I'll, I'll spar. We could do a three. Nah, bro. Sponsored by Steak. Bro, just talk Just talk to Eddie real quick, Aiden. Just, just go talk to Eddie real quick, Aiden. Go get it sponsored by Steak. Go, go, go get this shit running. I'm spar. I'm with it. <laughs> Why do you make everything sound weird? Dude, I'm trying to just spar with you guys for fun. Guys being dudes. <laughs> Anyway, Aiden, yeah. Have you ever played a sport, Aiden? Have you ever been outside? You look pale. Uh, I haven't been outside in a long time, but uh, Jake, I have you know that I'm going to be going outside a lot more now. Sure. And and that's a, Jake made an important point because when it comes to these fights, he, he made an important point about the people want to see it, and that's very valuable. So it's not as easy as people think to just fight. There's a whole bunch of promotion behind it, and things must be done, etc. Because if it was that easy, like I said, Jake and I could spar, of course, but that video would be worth millions of dollars. So we can't just throw it on Twitter for free because the whole world wants to see it. I mean, I, I'd i be up for it, but I understand Jake's a professional fighter, and when you're a prize fighter, you want a prize, right? I know we should, I mean, we could still spar. Like, uh, that would be fun anyways. And maybe we put, like, little clips out and not the whole thing. Or give Bro, just post the whole thing fucking just post it just post it on patreon and then after like a month release a it teaser or something i don't know we'll what? we'll figure it out jake you know where i am well i can't leave the house jake so <laughs> right. you know where i am <laughs> I'm, I'm not going anywhere i'm here jake so, um uh, they, you know they're they're asking i know they're gonna ask um still anything updates on fighting ksi are you do you, would you used to be down to fight him is that still a thing that's gonna happen in the future? I've been down, you know, I've been down. I've been trying to make it happen for a long time. And I that's not what KSI been saying, okay? KSI been saying, you won't sign a goddamn contract, gang. I think everyone can see that. And he's the one that has always had an excuse with music or touring. Um, and then he wants to drain the weight down to 180 pounds, which I agreed to if he wanted to do winner takes all for all the money. And so he says, okay, sure, we'll do winner takes all. He says it on Twitter. And then we go behind the scenes for the no negotiations with his manager. And his manager ducks the whole entire thing. They're like, oh, no, not winner takes all. Like, only an extra million dollars. Um, so then there's, like, a weight thing going back and forth. And it just uh, seems to me that he doesn't want to get it done. Are Logan and, and KSI really close? Or is it all just a weird, like, promotional thing? I think it's it's they're like acquaintances. Okay. But it is like this weird thing. But they both kind of like joke about that. Like I've seen Logan be like, "Yeah, we're best friends." Like and kind of say it say it jokingly. Um but obviously they're business partners and that that whole entire thing. So They seem like pretty cool friends. They seem like pretty good yeah, friends. Interesting. I just thought I'd ask. And I have nothing against Logan either. I think a lot of people think I have a problem with Logan. I don't have problems with anybody. I live with a pure heart. I'm a happy man. But I just thought they'd be, I was just curious about that. Because when KSI is running his mouth to you, I'm like, why is Logan not punching him in the face? What the fuck? Tough. Yeah, b business, I guess, is business. Um, it is It is weird. Damn. It puts me in a weird spot because, like, I don't know how to feel about it. I, I personally don't like it because it's like, there, here's this guy that, constantly is dragging me down constantly jumping at every opportunity to to pull me down and to, you do to the same thing though don't bad. even don't even he does the same thing to the other he does the same thing to ksi wait how are you gonna go on bitch mode like that bro you be doing the same shit do you know who you are what is he does he did he forget did he just forget what he's been doing the last like six years what about me and my brother <laughs> like acting like what? he's best friends with them and that even when people ask like Oh, you know, they asked Logan, like, oh, who would you pick in the fight? And Logan's like, oh, I don't know. That would be tough for me. Like, 
<laughs> no, it's really not like. Wait, wait, wait. So when you ask, he eventually, eventually says like, "Well, I would have to pick Jake," but he he plays both sides definitely, and it 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 does get it does get annoying. But it's like I also respect his hustle as an entrepreneur and as a businessman because he you know created this multi billion dollar company now with his enemy and i can't hate on that i want my brother to accomplish his goals and i want i'm happy for him and he's so successful and doing amazing and and to me that's i'm just proud of him i'm proud to be related to him i'm happy for him but definitely it hurts me sometimes seeing that shit for sure what age do you think you'll retire jake who do you guys got? KSI or Jake in the fight? Man, I KSI, have no idea. KSI, I want to be all world day. champion. And, and that KSI really is winning that shit. Prove 100%. Anyone that I, act. I will put... Fuck, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that on the internet. <laughs> I was about to say I'll put 10 bands on KSI, but then I might actually have to do it. All right, run this video the fuck up. Run, 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 it, run this video up, and, we, and I'm dropping 10 bands. Right, whatever this video make, we, we dropping it on KSI when they fight. Actually can do it and to go from a disney channel kid who you know was not in the gym at all to a world champion i think um would be a remarkable story and i think it would inspire a lot of other kids to chase their dreams no matter how wild or crazy or sensational that they are so that's my goal and i think i could do it in the next three four years so I'll probably maybe retire when i'm like 30. Hey, can I ask you guys a question real quick? When you guys are fighting, uh, like, do you guys do you guys develop like any problems from it, like brain damage or anything like that? Like, does it like your, over like, time? Do you guys yes. Develop any like physical issues? Yes. The answer is yes, Aiden. Well, you can be unfortunate and you can be unlucky, and that's the whole thing about fighting. That's why it's so universally respected. Yeah. And I even said I even said this to KSI. I said I thought that was a bottle of liquor for a second. I was like, huh? But no, that's still water. That's then water. He replied that's something water. stupid because he's low <laughs> IQ. And I said, ultimately, at the end of the day, anybody who enters the ring to a degree I respect because you're putting your ego on the line and you're also putting your health on the line. It's pretty as close as you can get to the gladiator pit in modern times. And I know people who have entered the ring and, and unfortunately they've exited and they've never been the same. And some of them are my teammates and some of them are my opponents. And it's it's sad always. And it's yeah, bad things can happen in there. It's 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 real. It's fighting. I've been very it's fortunate. A fight. And I, wish there was a world in which nobody ever picked up any kind of damage from it but it's a real possibility you have to keep in mind every time you're training for a fight so yeah it's scary gotcha i think lean is worse for your brain than boxing though <laughs> Facts, you know, so I kicked the cup. had to jake had to kick the you one week lean Eddie? addict this is really crazy bro i can't bro like I i'm not gonna lie i can't get away from lean why you know i'm not you know i'm not jake I know you're not. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Talked. What do you mean? Like you just talked like a month ago. Well, like a heart to heart. Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, um. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, Jake. No. I'm not. No. Yeah. Well, this YouTube boxing thing, I think, is a fantastic opportunity for a bunch of people who are constantly just talking shit to each other to actually do something about it. And I think if people have a genuine issue with each other, then they should fight and sort it out. I don't think there's anything wrong with. And this is why we need the Leafy and I Dubs fight. We need the Leafy and I Dubs boxing match. That, that's how Creator Class gonna get back in the bag. That, I'll tell you that right now. The best thing about no it. Don't care about Alex and, uh, it's interesting as the main guard. Okay, so I'm not wanting to fight him because I think that's the fight everybody would really want to see. I think that's gonna be the biggest one. Perhaps one of the biggest oh, ones sure. you can make right now. For sure, for sure. And I've done everything I can to make it happen multiple, multiple times. Um, but at some point, he has to step up to the plate. And I think at some point, it, it has to happen just for the culture. And I, I know he wants it. It's just a matter of timing and all things considered. He told them two fights. There's two fights, and then he's going to fight you, Jake. He's fighting... Whoever the fuck, I forgot, who is he? Does he announce who he's fighting next? He's fighting the next dude, and then after that, he's fighting next dude, and after that, he, he gets a shot and get knocked out. Peace the fuck up real uh, quick. We'll see, we'll see whose corner Logan's in. Hopefully he's in the right corner, because, you know, brotherhood is the most oh, important thing. So, oh, KSI's fighting the dude that Jake lost to. And I, I think would, about that. I'd Tommy like Fury. to believe he would choose you, of course, when push came to shove. Yeah, no, I, I think deep down... He wants me to win, a hundred percent. But it just oh, the way he like Logan. presents that sometimes. Um, and th th that's what's weird about it for me is he's the one who 
when he lost to KSI, he's like, you have to go beat him. And that's really at first, like, what motivated me a lot. I don't know if I believe that. Who the hell, who who gets beat in a fight and then they go to their little brother and they're like, you got to beat him for me, little bro. What? <laughs> get into the gym and train so hard so I saw my brother being broken and sad and and the loss was really affecting him and he was like he kind of like bestowed this thing on me to like go get our family's Eric name Costco. back um and so then that's why it's like confusing for who? me the situation who is that that's a good that question they're, they're really in is Logan there now no no he I mean he's in Puerto Rico but he's not at the house right now uh, I was going to say hello. Huh. <laughs> Nate Diaz is here. No shot. Actually, in Puerto Rico. He's over, he's like in the other house over here. Have you seen him train? Lies, nigga, what? Um, can we go, can we get him? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. What? I can get him. I can get him. Oh, my God. Nate's there? Bro, 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 bro. Andrew, I'm a big fan. Proof. Proof that he's throwing a fight. Proof. Proof this is a fake fight. What? They got all this beef in their next door to each other? Bro, what? What? Bro, fake fight. Fake. D uh, J if Jake Paul wins, fake. If Jake Paul wins, then fake. If this is true, and if this is true, then fight fake. What? Man, Diaz brothers, bro. Holy fuck. I think like, I'm going to fan out, I think. Good. No. Good. They deserve respect. They, they train Wait, very hard. They, Andrew, they're legends of the sport. Andrew, could you introduce me to them, please? Nigga, what? I don't know them. I've never spoken to them. Before. Why would I introduce you? Oh, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> introduce yourself. All right, you're right, you're right. I got this. Fuck. We're getting nervous over a fucking stream. Look at a computer screen. <laughs> I'm sorry, right? My bad, my bad. Fuck. You're a nerd, bro. Hey, shut <laughs> up, dude. You're... <clears throat> Bruh. Let's and... see if Nate's there. Oh. What's that? What's that, fuck it? <laughs> Nate Diaz was actually there, bro. Uh, they got way too much beef. Okay, so fight real. This is, oh my god. <laughs> he is fucking stupid. This is the only time Jake Paul has ever made me laugh like that. Wow. That was dumb. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> That was so fucking stupid. That was so stupid. Oh. With it, with that fucker. <laughs> God damn it. Off you go, Andy. With the joint in the mouth. Nate, I'm a big fan, bro. I'm a big fan. I I don't give a fuck, pussy. <laughs> I heard you, you like Jake Paul. <laughs> I love Jake. That's my brother. But who, who do you think is going to win the fight? I got to go my brother Jake, man. I'm going to ride for my bro. Fuck you. Hmm? Fuck you, man. No. But bro, the impression is low-key kind of spot on. Why is the impression kind of spot on, bro? Mr. Diaz, I'm lucky way. You're lucky we were in person. I stocked and slapped the fit off you, bro. <laughs> Mr. Diaz, I'm a big fan. You don't understand. Does he have a picture? Nah. You're lucky I'm even on your bitch ass stream. 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 I'm a big fan, bro. I just want a picture, please. I'm going to talk about you. Damn. Is that really how it would go down, Andrew? Precisely. Hey, by the way, thanks for having my back, asshole. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Dude, I thought you were yeah, interesting. Really interesting he's in training a bad mood. place. Yeah, he's in a bad mood. Okay, so then I guess the fight is real. He's not he's not actually next door, so I guess the fight is real then. I uh, guess it's real. Man, uh, fuck. We'll you see. I kind of, for a second I kind of believe that and because <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I I'm from I'm a bit older, right? I'm 36. I retired when I was 30, just like you said. And when I was fighting when I was 24, 25, it was before social media. So I turn up to fights and I didn't even know who I was fighting. Now it's all about who the person is and promo, etc. I turn up to a fight in Russia or Moscow. 
And I'd say to my coach, who am I fighting? And obviously all the Russian names are in Cyrillic. And we're like, uh-huh. maybe him, maybe him, maybe him. We, we don't know until you get in the ring. And it's always the guy you, it's the biggest of them all, of course, the one you hope it's not. But uh, there was times where, yeah, I was training in the same place as the guy I was fighting. Or I heard the guy I was, or me and the guy I was fighting were warming up in the same room huh. in, in Slovenia. So there's been times well, you guys that, got that shit happened in, in the Jake. old school of the fight day. Hey, Jake. Diaz got the dub. If Diaz, bro, Diaz got to knock Jake Paul off the, bro, if Jake Paul loses to Diaz and that proves that he can't fight actually good fighters. What do you think is going to happen in the Diaz fight? But Diaz also Man, is like brain dead. Tough, so but, we'll see. Um, we'll see. I'm feeling so sharp right now. I brought in a new team, new strength and conditioning coaches, new nutritionists. So this is the best I've ever felt. Um, he kind of looks like shit, low key though. Am I? Am I? Am, is that just me? Jake Paul kind of looks like he. He he, just, he, just, he looks sick. And <laughs> I'm getting better and better as the rounds go on. So I could see me stopping him in like the <clears throat> sixth or seventh round. I just think he's not going to be able to keep up with my speed and power. Okay, so you're very confident. I like that. Are you Why is Andrew it? holding back I... laughs? Hold on. What, what, what was he? What was he holding back laughing from? Okay. <laughs> Look at confident. that. I like that. Are you gonna bet on He's it? He's trying I not am. to but die God laughing God right now. <laughs> on God. On God. <laughs> I want to see a screenshot of that bet. I will. I'm gonna post it. Yo, when I put a hundred thousand dollars on you, Jake, and you secure my money. Uh, you know, you try out, not to break character real you quick. You on the date, bro? <laughs> exactly. And Andrew can you know go with us. What? Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, I'm not allowed to leave my house, so I'm going to miss it. <laughs> uh, but I'll just stay here, and I hope you guys have fun. Uh, I'm on month six of house arrest so far. Damn. And we'll see how long this continues for. So I'm going to prison. It, unfortunately. Damn. So, um, that's fucked. There's already been six months. Holy hey, do you, do you do a lot of, do you, like, have the girls over, or do you, like, do a lot of jerking off? <laughs> Are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I, I have the odd visitor jake and i don't jerk off because it's haram and god is always oh, watching right, 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 so right. that's not something i partake in i'm allowed visitors i just didn't yes. know how it was with house arrest like if you could have visitors or not jake, i am allowed i am allowed Andrew, visitors, you know you yes. actually helped me stop masturbating because every time that i would masturbate i would think of you and i'm like Wait. Nah, this is not right i'm gonna stop <laughs> what nigga <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the exact facial expressions that are needed after a nigga said something like this. The bro he said it to, like, what the fuck did you just say to me? The homie in the background just mind blown that the other homie said this to the other homie. Like, who says that? <laughs> What the fuck? I said I'm gonna stop doing this shit now. No, for real, you put it in my brain. Nah, I never, I haven't done it in months. Who swear to God. says that? I swear to God, bro, I haven't done this shit in months, bro. Thank you for actually stopping that porn addiction. Fuck porn. I don't know how men can be addicted to porn. I don't understand. You must have very few options in your life to find yourself addicted to porn. I mean, every guy's jacked off in their life before, bro. Bruh. But if you're, no. I, I'm talking about a porn addiction. You make it sound like it's something you can't help doing. You must have very few I, options if you end up addicted to porn. Yeah, true. I've only really, really severely been addicted to lean. It's bad, bro. Bro, I want to know how long he was doing lean for. I want to know how long he was sipping for. Because, like, he I, his energy was always just so high. It doesn't even make sense that he was doing lean. I don't know. I don't, he, he, needs, he needs to give a further breakdown because he barely hey, even Jake, explained. Right, so Jake, Jake, I got stabbed by a knife before. Do you want to see it? Bruh. <laughs> no, Jake, I swear to God. What happened? I was sleeping, right? And my uh, my uncle, he was on meth and he stabbed me in my sleep. They got some hairy ass arms. Or like just no reason or he was mad at you or something? Uh, He was on drugs. He thought I worked for the FBI. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. What the hell, Jake? A little bit. No, there's just this shit you bit. say. It's just like, I don't know if you're like special or what. But <laughs> 100%. He's definitely on a spectrum. But that's besides the point, gang. It's crazy. Well, it's actually funny you say that, Jake, Andrew. I actually figured this out by myself. I'm definitely <laughs> off in some way. I believe that I'm autistic or like I'm a spectrum. Yeah, I'm on the spectrum. No, no, I'm not even my joke. All shit aside. Appreciate you not laughing, Andrew. And Jake, I don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> 
laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. <laughs> He's not laughing, gang. <laughs> You're just an outrageous individual. Eh? Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh <going>. fuck! <laughs> I, can't. I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like I see it in his face now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like at me and you. Hey, Andrew. Listen, bro. You know I love you, right? All some real shit. You're like my big bro. Thank you. I mean, this is where you're supposed to say Fake. I love you too. You're like my little brother. Fake freeze on this nigga. You're not like my little brother at all, because my little brother's a man of upstanding moral character, hard work, discipline. You know, none of those things. <laughs> I do have a little brother, and he's a fantastic individual, and you are absolutely nothing like him. If he wasn't wow. a fantastic individual, he wouldn't be able to be my brother. If I had a brother who's addicted to lean, I'd kick the fuck out oh. of him. <laughs> if I had a brother addicted to lean, I'd kick the fuck out of him. Sorry. What's it's up, okay, Supreme? Jake. How's it going? How's it going? So, Jake, hello, how much money hello. do you think you would make if you and I fought? What's your price? What's your price? How do you gain a following as you start of streaming? Um, TikTok and shorts. That's the biggest key nowadays, to be honest. Stick to it, grind your ass off, and post hella fucking clips and shorts and TikToks until one of them pops off. That is uh that is that is definitely the main that is the key way nowadays. That is that is how everybody that's blown up in the last like three years actually blew up is through using TikTok and shorts and like Instagram reels and shit. So do that. But I do think me and Jake would be probably the biggest pull. You know what's crazy? I'm not even joking. I don't even know who I would who I'd vote for. You guys are both like my boys. Who would you bet on, Aiden? God damn it. Fuck. Um, I really, it just depends who, who's, who's training harder. That's really all it's about. I said this right now, I'm gonna be vocal about it. I don't care if anyone doesn't like it. Right now, if Jake and KSI got in the ring, Jake's winning. If KSI- What? Nah, KSI is winning, bro. KSI is winning that fight. Tell me I'm wrong. I, I got would, KSI. Would My money's on I KSI. If KSI and Jake on the ring right now, Jake would win. And that doesn't mean that if KSI doesn't train harder, he has, you know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. It's all about how hard you train. I, I just think KSI got more power, bro. I just think KSI got more fucking power, bro. <laughs> so, with that being said, if Tate trains harder, Tate will win. If Jake trains harder, Jake will win. That's a cop-out answer. It is. I think we should do it Truth. regardless. That is a cop-out answer. We should definitely do the sparring session. Just for, even if the video never gets released. Just so between Jake and I, we can, you know, have, it'll be fun. It could be relatively lighthearted, but just between Jake and I, it'll be done. Just for, for... Our own, sometimes everything's not about clout and it's not always about the internet and it's not always about views. Sometimes it's just, you know, two guys and we're like, you know what? Fuck it. We talked about it a few times. Let's put some gloves on and let's try. Regardless I think of it what should happens. Be MMA. I think it should be MMA because it, that would pique more people's interest and it would make things way more interesting. Tater, Jake, chat, we all got. That, that's what we should do if we're going to do it. Do you train MMA now or are you still only training boxing? No, I'm only training. Bro, if Jake actually made a transition to MMA, I think that'd be kind of cold, though. I think if Jake actually made the transition to MMA, that would be fire. He might do well, but I'm more, I, I more just think it would be fun as fuck to watch him get his ass beat in the ring, in the fucking, in the octagon, bro. Well, I, bro, watching Jake Paul take a clean knee to the face, woo, that's what we need. That's what we need in this world, bro. I've seen it. <laughs> But I, I could start, you know, like if we really were going to do it, like you said, it would be like six months to a year and just focusing on that. Interesting. Let me you ask you another question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Sorry, sorry to cut you off, uh, Mr. Tate. So sure. if I were, let me ask you a question. How much would you guys want to get paid to do, to do a spar live? I mean, if we're gonna steak, 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 steak. Yeah, like let's go steak back this shit. I mean, what's the difference, yeah, exactly. Right? Oh, I see. It's the same. Eddie, drop yeah. the bag. Eddie, drop the bag. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying sparring just for I don't know. I'm sure Jake has plenty of sparring partners, but if he wanted a new one, he's very welcome to at my house. No problem. I'd love to. I once you're a fighter, you always want to fight. You never go. You never get to an age where you don't want to fight anymore. You never wake up and go, ah, oh, I don't want to fight anymore. It's something that's inside of you and it's always inside of you. And the hardest thing about fighting is actually retiring. 
It's knowing when yeah, you should very He couldn't shake that match out. Did y'all notice that? Did you see that? <laughs> he sit there shaking that damn match. He had to it's blow. very addicting and like <laughs> fun and anybody boxing something to keep your mind occupied and just like the glory, <laughs> the training, the challenge, like everything about it is is really fun. So it's is hard. it is it addicting to like once you're a boxer to like the feeling of it? Yeah. Yeah, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. And the hard thing is knowing when to stop, because if you go on too long, you have a bunch of losses at the end of your career, and then you want to retire, then you want to come yeah. out of retirement and do it again. It takes a lot of mental control to decide to stop. I decided when I was in my early 20s I was going to retire at a certain age, and I stuck to that, and I finished on a win streak for that reason, because otherwise it can easily go wrong, and you can ruin your legacy, etc. It's not easy to do. It's very hard, but you're always going to want to fight. That's the thing when you're a fighter. When someone says, I'll fight you, part of you is always going to be like, okay, come on, then fight me. It's just something that's inside of you. It's never going to go away. How has house arrest made this man seem semi more tame? I don't know. It, 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 is the court case making him shut the fuck up about the stupid shit he was saying or some shit? Because in his last two conversations, yeah, with Adam 22 and Jake Paul, this is the most sane and normal, logical that I've ever heard. He's not going off on these wild tangents about wild, random shit that makes no sense. He's just talking like a normal person and just having conversations and not linking everything to the Matrix and Red Pill and all this other bullshit. <laughs> Am I wrong? It's unfortunate that time marches Bro, just having on. Actual Someone conversations. said to me that... You... Why couldn't he have just done this the whole time? Here's <laughs> come. What did they say? It's been a year since it's been a year. This is the form. This is the form where I originally started consuming Andrew Tate, and then it's when I found out when I saw him going off on the random crazy ass tendons that I was like, "No, sir." But this type of shit, he's he's a funny guy. He's funny. So when he just sits there and has normal conversations and talk about funny shit with other people, it's funny. He doesn't have to do all the extra shit. Here, something very intelligent and insightful. I can't remember who but, it was. It was a philosopher. I think he was uh, a yeah, teach their own. One. The, it's been a year since it's been a year. Yeah, it's great. Uh, uh, ever since I heard that, it was really mind-blowing. And uh, unfortunate time marches on and we all get a bit older. So there has to come a point where you decide to stop. But I'm really not that old. People, I talk about myself like I'm old. 36 isn't old. In 10 years, you're, you're about to be 50, bro. Poof! Crazy. In 10 years, I'm going to be 46. I wonder if I'll still be on house arrest. Top. Nah, probably prison at that point. Probably actual prison at that point. Life really Aiden, Aiden uh, did your did your uncle like go to jail for stabbing you? I didn't press charges. He instead, well, he went to jail, and then I said, "Hey, I'm not gonna press charges." What? Uh, and then he went to a mental asylum. Okay, fair. Damn. Yeah. What's the most traumatic what? thing you've ever been through, Jake? I'm just, I'm genuinely curious. You know, my parents up in Ohio. My one time, my dad took my Xbox away. Man, that shit, that shit was tragic. This shit was tragic. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. He's laughing because nothing. Nothing's ever happened. Oh, man. I've been through a lot of shit in my career, to be honest. Career, as I'm he said. Of the... His career, not his childhood. He's talking about... And that's what Aiden was asking. Something traumatic in your childhood. No, you've been through nothing. Is I don't the know if I can name like one thing specifically. Like a, there's like a whole jumble of things. Who, who's Erica? They're saying Erica. Erica. Oh, my my ex. Yeah, I was. That's my assumption. My ex, ex. Yeah, I've been through. I've been through a lot of fallouts with people and like crazy shit, lawsuits. Like whenever, whenever I was the the biggest like YouTuber, it felt like the world was like caving in on me because everyone just wanted to like strip me down and see me fail and make up rumors like it was like a giant giant target on my back and th every day there was something new to deal with mentally i think that was like the toughest toughest part of my life gotcha have you been canceled before aiden when were you canceled what for uh i was recently canceled um for saying there's two genders in the world so uh, i got canceled for that uh i got banned on twitch for that specific reason i think that's when they started to like not fuck with me um, that is not what you got so, banned um, for. That's cap. Cancellation. I believe there's been more, way, uh, more shit. Interesting. Like the time you said your pronouns are kill slash them, or like the time there. There's been several times now, but there's been several times now, but don't act like there's nothing that's happened. Ever been to jail? Have I ever been to jail? No, I have not been to jail, sir. 
Try and avoid it if you can. Do your best. Okay. Jake, have you ever been to jail or no? No. Yeah. There you go. So, good. And I don't wish it upon anybody. There's no need to go there. But I was just curious. Yeah, man. Yep. Yeah, I'm man. on my best behavior. Yep. I'm on my best behavior. Once it gets behavior, to that point in the yeah, conversation, it's time to dip out. For like two, three <laughs> years now. And, and I think that's yep. because of boxing. Like, I'm just always focused and it's helped me like mature and stuff. So. I have a question, which I find interesting. If you lost the next five fights in a row, would you retire? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, that would be pretty traumatic. But at the same time, like... That's a good question. Man, that is a good I've question. I've exceeded my own expectations in the sport. So, like, I'm, I'm happy with where I've gotten regardless of what check? happens moving forward. Um, to even just beat some of these legends, some of my idols, Anderson Silva, to win Knockout of the Year, cover of Sports Illustrated. Like, I've accomplished my goals and beyond. Um, and I love this sport, and it's changed my life for the better. So I think I'll always be boxing, you know, even if it's just staying in shape in the gym. But I've always We got to see this KSI fight, bro. This shit, we can't wait another, like, two years. It, it's got to be in, like, six months or some shit, right? A promoter. I have a year, my foundation, a year Boxing max. Bullies, which is, like, opening up gyms across uh, the United States. They got to fight next summer. Places they got to fight next summer, next kids June. To go in and be able to box for free. We're up to, like seven gyms now in less than two years um so i just love the sport man i i it changed my life for the better and pulled me out of like some dark places so i'll always definitely box yeah i have more questions i'm probably not supposed to ask but i'm gonna ask them anyway do you Ta genuinely dislike dana is that beef real <laughs> Yeah, no, the beef is definitely real. The beef is definitely real, 100%. And Wait, they got beef? I think, no, it's more that Dana White doesn't like Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Dana White thinks that Jake Paul is like an ashamed to the fucking combat sports enterprise. Everything in combat sports. That's why Dana White doesn't like him. <laughs> I think... And then the beef just stems from Jake Paul wanting Dana White to like him, and then he doesn't like him in turn. I don't know him as a person, so I can't say whether or not I dislike him for who he is in real life, but I dislike his business tactics. I dislike that, you know, fighters only get paid 15% of the total revenue. I dislike that um, he has a monopoly, basically, in MMA, and that the fighters are the ones who lose I mean, from that. And, and shit. these fighters are putting their health on the line. They're risking everything. Um, it's a natural monopoly, though. It's like, it's that's an industry with a natural monopoly. Like, it's, the, it's like the NFL. Or, like, the NBA. Or, like, hockey. Or any of the other sports. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same as all the other sports. It's a natural monopoly. You can't. There's not going to be many people that can afford to buy millions of dollars of teams and then pay to stream them several days out of the year and then all this other bullshit. It's a nat It's a natural monopoly industry. You know, it's the toughest sport in the world. They're paying their own coaches. They're paying their own gym fees. Like the barrier yep. to entry is so high that being able to do so would is is completely unrealistic and never going to happen all these other sports nfl nba they get everything paid for and they make more money so really he's been able to take advantage of fighters and that's what i don't like and even they make more money they fight they play more they 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 play 16 a, fo a football team play what 16 game 15 16 games a year and then if they go to the playoffs and then preseason and all that shit they're playing way more they're making more money if you're fighting twice a year for 30 minutes if that and then they got to pay all this extra money for promotion and all this stuff what money are you really bringing in back like compared to if a football player is getting paid 10x it makes sense they're playing 10 times 10 literally like 1.8 times more in the fighter minimum you know the the fighter getting paid uh twelve thousand five hundred dollars to go in there that's the minimum that the ufc fighters get paid so they're risking their life basically for twelve thousand um, dollars and if he just increased that to fifty thousand dollars it would change so many fighters lives and it would only cost the ufc annually 15 million dollars but these fighters would be really? able to actually afford being able to be full-time fighters so 
Yes, he's made a lot of money. He's changed the sport. I love what he's done for MMA. He's made the sport. Isn't it not about making... Isn't M isn't the UFC the ultimate fighter championship not made for people to become a lifetime fighter, though? It's for the best of the champions. So, like, if there's a nigga that deserves to make $10,500, maybe he's probably not going to be fighting in the UFC next couple of years because he's not that good. I don't know. I don't, it Massive. makes sense to me. Um, but now it's time to make sense to me. treat fighters better. And that's that's my biggest problem with him. Do you think you'd still fight if... So my first fight, I got paid $150. Do you think you'd still fight if you were, like, not famous and it, you had to start the bottom and the money was zero and you were still working a job and you were training after the job? Like, your first 20 fights, you got paid basically nothing. And do you think you'd still do it? Yeah, I believe my life would have probably always led me to fighting. Huh. I truly believe it. It feels like what I was destined to do. Um it's it's who I am deep down is a fighter. So I, I genuinely wish you the best. I said it even before we started talking. I wish you the best. I can tell you're taking it seriously, and that's what fighting's for. And I respect anybody who gets in the ring, and I hope you win. I hope you do very well. And I don't know Nick, and I'm sure he's training very hard as well. It's gonna. Oh, sorry, Nate. It's gonna be uh, interesting to see. That's for sure. That's for sure. Oh, uh, Jake, I got a question. I got a question. Um, do you, Tommy Fury, is that is the rematch ever going to happen? Would you guys ever fight again? Nah. Um, is that so for sure? After yeah, there's, KSI there's knocks him out. The scenes of it. After KSI knocks this nigga out. Um, and it only makes sense, right? It's one of the biggest pay per view fights of the last couple of years. And it, it was a split decision to victory on his end. So I think. Because you lost. You like objectively lost that fight. You didn't win that fight at all. You need to go back in there and, and leave no doubt. And really settle it. Gotcha. Jake Paul objectively lost that. Yeah. He did not win I'm that fight. To, I'm about to go off to uh, to sparring here, but it was awesome talking to you guys. Hey Jake, I'm I love so you, bro. Hey Jake, I, oh sorry, Andrew. I'm love sorry. You, sorry, Andrew. Go ahead. Sorry. Andrew. No, go on. No, it's fine. Made it go. Oh, uh, Jake, I love you. Thanks for coming on. Uh, All right. Yeah. No. There. I think. I think. Tommy Fury clearly won that fight. It, that fight honestly made them both look like bad fighters. It made them both not look good because neither of them could put each other down. I don't. They they it made them equally matched, but like neither of them showed that they were like a high skill fighter in that fight. But Tommy Fury clearly won that fight. He he Molly he was mopping on him. He was mopping on Jake. He had no chance that whole time, Bruh. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think. If y'all if, if y'all like this one, go check out the Adam 22 one with the Andrew Tate we just watched.